What's up guys? Today I'm gonna to show you some more progress on the hardtop and why you shouldn't leave your 3D prints in the hot garage. It's just completely warped. So I'm just gonna to have to print another one. On a good note, I got the soft top frame all ready to make the mold. Pretty much just plugged up these um, holes throughout the whole thing with the clay. And that's just to prevent the mold from locking to the part so the mold will pop off easier. Something I learned, if you see any last minute imperfections in your mold, just a uh, temporary easy fix is just put some clay over it and then put your release agent over the top of that. You can always go back and fix it later. Here it is, straight out of the mold. There's a few little areas where I'll need to fill in some resin. But other than that, it's uh, ready to go and ready to be mounted onto the hard top. All right, y'all, so the next part I'm gonna be making is a support for the middle of this hard top. The middle seems kind of flimsy, um, so I don't want that to move when I'm going at speed down the interstate. So I'm just gonna basically mim mimic what I did here in the back, which is very strong. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of dimension to it somewhere here in the middle. And the way I'm gonna do that is I've got a 3D printed part here. The curve of it matches the inside of the hard top. So what I'll do is I'll make the carbon fiber part out of this and then lay one more layer of carbon fiber over it with it on, sitting on the bottom of this hard top just to give it that extra support in the middle. And the reason I'm doing the saran wrap is I'm gonna use that instead of my PVA spray mold release. That should allow the carbon fiber to release from the part pretty easily. Uh, but this is the first time I've done it, so we'll see how it goes.
All right, it's the next day. Time to open this thing up. Well, the saran wrap works. 3D printed part came out pretty good, pretty easily. So now this is just gonna act as a support in here, get rid of some of that wobbliness and really stiffen up that portion of the hard top. So we're gonna add one more layer of uh, carbon fiber over the top of this and get this thing stiffened up a little bit. Over here, I've been doing a little bit of sanding and just gonna reapply some resin to a few areas where there were some little bit of pinholes and things like that where it needs to uh, fill in some of the low spots. So that's all I got for this video. I'm really hoping the next video I can actually get these mounts molded and made and attached to the hardtop so that way I can mount the hardtop onto the car and get everything lined up. So tune in for that. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe.